Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie my smuggler nymph. We've got a scud hook in the vise. You can either use a Daiichi 1120 or a Tiemco 2457. I've got a hairline plummet bead in in brown. This is going to be a PMD version, so it's kind of has a brown coloration to the fly. You could tie it in a bluing olive and use an olive bead. I'm going to start behind the bead with some thread. I'm using as fine a thread as I I can use. 16 aught Tiemco. You could also use the Vivas threads, the fine threads from Vivas, either in a 14 aught or a 16 aught. I'm going to take some Cock de Leon fibers, tie those in and wrap down to where the thread hangs and touches the barb. Pull those just so they're a little shorter than that. And trim off the excess. Next I have a thin strip of thin skin, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch. This is brown thin skin. I'll advance forward a little bit, it's about the two-third mark on the hook. Tie that in, and I'm folding it over the top half of the hook shank. So it's tied in over the top, and it's kind of folded over evenly on either side of the hook. <clears throat> Next I have some monofilament. You can either use tippet material or monofilament tying thread. And tie that in. This is going to be the ribbing for the fly. Now, on smaller flies, say 16 and smaller, you can just leave a thread body on the abdomen. I'm going to really finely dub some brown nature spirit dubbing underneath where my shell back is going to be and wrap up to that two-thirds point this is a nature spirit emergence dubbing but you can use you know any kind of finer synthetic dubbing this is just slightly spiky so I like it gives some gill like look to the fly. So now we're going to take that thin skin oh, there's a little bit of the backing stuck on there. There. Pull the thin skin right over the top of the hook tie it down right over the back of the fly that two-third mark. Don't trim off your excess thin skin yet. Now you're going to rib the body of the fly with the monofilament. Of course, that thin skin is going to want to hang in your way, but just take our, and I have a spool of monofilament thread on a separate bobbin to do this, which makes it a little easier to maneuver it. Tie that off when I get to the thread there that's waiting and we'll trim off our excess mono. Now we're going to take that thin skin, fold it back, tie it down over the top of the tie-in point or the tie-off point rather for the monofilament. We're going to take a little bit more dubbing this time a little short noodle, a little fatter. We're going to dub right over that tie-off point I'm going to build up a little ball. I'm going to force that tungsten bead back. And then jam it back a little bit. Put some a little bit of a thread dam in front. I'm going to take a tiny bit more dubbing. And 
dub and then fold that dubbing back. Okay, now we're going to tie in some legs and I'm going to use some wood duck colored CDC. You can use partridge or something, but the CDC gives it a really unique look that really moves and swims in the water. What I've got is a feather I've used for a couple other flies already. I'm just going to cut off the tip and I'll hold this on the top, stroke some of the fibers back hold this down on top of the fly and tie that in right behind the eye with a few wraps I'm just going to slide that feather forward and then I'm going to end up with kind of two clumps. And I'm going to split the clumps with the thin skin. Stretch that thin skin a little bit. Tie it down. Now we need to remove the thin skin and make sure you've got that secured with a few wraps of thread and then really stretch the thin skin and trim it out. Do the same thing with the CDC, stretch it up, trim it out. Try not to leave too much of a stub sticking up there. I got a little bit, but we should be able to take care of that with some pressure from our fingernail and a little bit of tying thread. Then we'll do a whip finish. A couple little things of dubbing sticking out in the way, but oops. Our whip finish, trim off our excess. Now, take our CDC legs. You can leave them long if you want, more of an emerging wing look that way. I'm going to go pull them back and just behind the thorax, give them a little trim. You get a nice little kind of fan of CDC fibers for. Some legs, a couple little dubbing fibers I'm going to get out of the way here. And there you have a smuggler nymph. It's got a hidden tungsten bead. Helps get the fly down, but it's kind of an inconspicuous bead. It doesn't show up. It looks more like a traditional nymph pattern. Gives you a cool mayfly shape with that bead nestled in there. It's got a lot of movement in the water. Again, you can tie this to imitate different mayfly species by changing the color of the thin skin and the dubbing. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and we just finished tying the Smuggler Nymph.